Greetings to all. In this lecture, we will discuss the basics of electrical machine windings like what is the meaning of coil, coil pitch, pole pitch and different type of windings like short pitch winding, distributed winding, full pitch winding or concentrated windings, lap winding, wave winding. The basics related to all these type of windings we will discuss. First, we will see why we require the electrical windings. All rotating electrical machines require two magnetic fields to generate a torque. Based upon the attractions and repulsions of these two magnetic fields, it will generate a torque and this is the working principle for any type of electrical machines. That is what we have concluded in the earlier lectures. So, to create these two magnetic fields, we require the windings. Windings is nothing but arrangement of or group of a conductors. For example, if we will see the induction motor at the right, right side corner, stator is a distributed winding and rotor is a squirrel cage winding. And because of the distributed winding at the stator side and variable uh, fields with AC supply and the squirrel cage rotor at the rotor side and based upon the mutual induction principle, the current will be induced in the squirrel cage and there is another magnetic field will be established at the rotor side. The attractions and repulsions of these two magnetic fields, the machine will work. So, these are the different type of windings with respect to the DC machines as well as AC machines. The closer type of windings we will utilize in DC machines where the commutators and brushes are used. Open type of windings, there is no brushes and commutators and the closer type of windings are classified into two types, gram ring winding and drum type of winding. The gram ring winding is the oldest winding type with respect to DC machines where half of the windings are participated in the effective energy conversion, remaining half of the winding are not utilized for uh, torque generation. That means, copper utilization is poor in this winding and here copper utilization in drum type of winding is high. This drum type of windings are classified into lap winding and wave winding. The only difference is how we are connecting the commutators and brush arrangement with respect to these two windings. With respect to open type of windings are classified into three types, one is concentrated, distributed and must type of windings. In concentrated windings, all windings are placed at one particular place and we will generate square type of MMF. In distributed windings, the conductors are distributed over n number of conductors and we are seeing the stepped MMF waveform or smoother MMF waveform. And these distributed windings are classified into full pitch winding and short pitch windings, integral slot and fractional slot windings, single layer and multi layer windings. We will see one by one what is the difference and basics related to all these type of windings and mesh windings generally utilized in low power machines where the coil length with respect to the uh, one coil side and other coil sides are different. For example, each coil is a combination of two conductors, the length with respect to one side coil side and length with respect to the other coil side is different in this type of mesh windings only low power applications will utilize it. First, we will discuss the conductor. Conductor is nothing but a piece of copper wire. We can see here, this is a conductor. What we are placing inside the machine. And blue color one is the conductors and we are, we are placing inside the stator core uh, we can see here the conductors we are placing at slot 1 as well as slot 7 and it will take the active part in the energy conversion process. With respect to the north pole, we are seeing current is entering, with respect to the south pole current is leaving and depends upon the magnetic Oersted principles and thumb rule, we can see the magnetic lines formation. And this uh, these two conductors 
along with the overhangs and end rings will act as one magnetic field source. The turn is nothing but combination of two conductors with additive polarity of their MMF. These two conductors are connected with overhang, this is the overhang and we can see here the pink color one is the overhang and it has only one turn. And if it has the coil consists of n number of turns, we can see here the multiple turn coil which consists of n number of turns, all turns are connected in series fashion and coil, uh, coil has two coil sides which are placed on di two different slots, one coil side is placed at the north pole side and other coil side is placed at the south pole side. The physical uh, coil looks like in this fashion this is one coil side and this is another coil side. It has two ends, one will be starting, other will be ending that is represented here. The number of coils, the number of coils depends upon the number of slots inside the stator core and how many coil sides are there in each and every slot. If one coil side is there in the slot, it will be like this. If two coil sides are there in the slot, it looks like in this fashion. So, how to calculate the total number of coils means that is slots by 2 because each coil we have to place in 2 slots right because of that reason Qs by 2 into number of coil sites or layers per slot. Then number of coils per phase. C total is nothing but number of coils with respect to all three phases. With respect to one particular phase means by number of phases that is by ms and it will give the final expression in terms of slots per pole per phase that is q and number of pole pairs that is p by 2 and number of layers that is n. In order to calculate the number of coil sites per pole each coil has two coil sides, we can see here this is one coil side and this is another coil side and in a physical coil we can see two coil sides here. So, to find the coil sides per pole, total number of coil sides divided by poles right. So, in order to find the total number of coil sides per uh, coil sides, coils total coils into 2 that will give the coil sides per pole this expression will give the total coils sides per pole per phase ok q into n because slots per pole per phase I am considering into number of layers and number of tons per phase if we want to calculate this n, n phase we have to calculate based upon the Faraday's law of voltage equation from there n m n tons we can calculate and C phase is nothing but number of coils per phase and N coil is nothing but number of tons per one particular coil. Let us consider an example 24 slot 3 phase 4 pole single layer winding slots per pole per phase is equals to 2 and total number of coils is equals to Qs by 2 into Coils, uh, coil sides that is single layer winding means 1, 12 uh, coils and coils per phase is by 3, 12 by 3 will give 4 here and then coil sides per pole is equals to Q into N, coil sides per pole per phase that is typo mistake. So, it will give 2. So, the total coil sides per pole will come 24. So, the total number of coils are 12, 12 into 2 24 by 3 into 4. It is coming 2 coil sides per pole per phase and coil sides per phase will be 24 by 3 that is 8 coil sides will be there. Per pole if you want to calculate total coil sides by 4, 6 coil sides will be there under 1 pole. Now, how to calculate the coil pitch between two coil sides? 
let us consider a 24 slot stator core and in order to define the coil pitch one reference parameter we will calculate that is the pole pitch this pole pitch value always constant with respect to this particular value we will define the coil pitch pole pitch is nothing but distance between two adjacent poles between the center of north pole to center of south pole those two should be adjacent we can see here and with respect to this one we can see from this point to this point or starting point of the north pole and starting point of the south pole also we can consider and pole pitch is always equals to 180 degrees electrical and coil span is nothing but the distance between two coil sides if it is a coil distance between two coil side will give the coil pitch if the coil pitch is equals to pole pitch or 180 degrees electrical then it the type of winding is full pitch winding if coil pitch is less than 180 degrees electrical that type of winding is called short pitch winding if coil pitch is greater than 180 degrees electrical that type of winding is called as over pitch winding for an example here pole pitch is equals to 6 slots or 180 degrees electrical for 24 slots and 4 pole winding 24 by 4 will give 6 slots that is the pole pitch pole pitch can be represented in terms of slots or in terms of electrical angle 180 degrees mechanical angle means by 2 we have to consider if the coil pitch is equals to 6 then it is full pitch winding greater than 6 that is over pitch winding less than 6 slots it is short pitch winding so here we can see the conductors or coil sides are placed in 1 and 7 that means it is a full pitch winding that is equals to 6 slots next phase spread or phase span the phase spread or phase span is nothing but slots per pole per phase or we can call it as phase belt under one particular pole let us consider the slots per pole per phase slots per pole first we will consider that is 6 slots are coming 24 slot and 4 pole so the slots per pole will be 6 right under one particular pole how many slots we are dedicating to each and every phase that will give the phase spread let us say this is A phase this is B phase and these two slots are C phase so here slots per uh, pole per phase is nothing but phase belt that is equals to 2 we can represent in terms of slots or angle so that slots per pole per phase we will calculate with respect to the standard equation QS is equals to number of phases M into number of poles into slots per pole per phase so here we can see the phase spread in electrical always it is 60 degrees because each pole is 180 degrees that means electrically the phase spread with respect to the each phase will be 60 degrees 60 degrees and third one also 60 degrees so this phase spread or phase span in electrical 60 degrees will not change we can see here the phase spread with respect to the A phase is 2 slots under green color pole like each pole having 6 slots so like that 24 slots I have shown here and 1 2 is nothing but 1 uh, phase phase span and under each and every pole we can see 2 slots are accommodating the A phase conductors same way in the right side image all 3 phases are shown each phase is accommodating 2 slots in each and every pole the windings used in electrical machines are classified as concentrated and distributed windings single layer and double layer windings full pitch and short pitch windings fractional slot and integral slot windings lap winding and wave windings lap winding and wave windings generally we will utilize it in dc machines the lap winding and wave windings are also same as ac type of machine windings only difference is how we are connecting the commutators and brushes arrangement first concentrated windings we will see where all conductors are placed at one particular place 
it has same magnetic axis and the examples we can see inductors, transformers, DC machines, windings and field windings of salient pole synchronous machines etc. And it generates the square type of MMF waveform and consists of higher harmonics with respect to square wave MMF. We have derived the uh, stator MMF expression with respect to the square wave and concentrated windings and harmonics magnitude we can calculate based on that we can analyze what is the and what are the order and what are the magnitudes with respect to different harmonics. And distributed windings instead of placing conductors in one particular place we are distributing into n number of slots. We can see here the conductors are distributed in n number of slots and in examples we can see here stator and rotor of induction machines and armatures of synchronous machines and DC machines. It will generate a stepped MMF waveforms with reduced harmonics and induced EMF also harmonics will come down and the distribution of conductors helps in better cooling and the core is fully utilized. We can see here the core is fully utilized with respect to the conductors placement. Then single layer winding, in single layer winding each slot consists of one coil side, here one coil side, here also one coil side with respect to north pole and south pole. And in double layer windings each slot consists of two coil sides, this is one coil side that is blue color at the top side, red color at the bottom side, here also same. To uh, make the winding symmetry the top side conductor is always connected bottom side conductor under south pole that is this blue cond conductor or coil side is connected to the red color that is bottom side to minimize the leakage fluxes as well as to get the symmetrical winding distribution. And this red color one that is bottom side coil side placed in the first slot is connected to the top side coil side which is placed on the, the coil side which is placed at the top side under south pole multi layer windings where the slot is filled with n number of coil sides. We have seen here two coil sides right, let us say three coil sides or four coil sides up to n number of coil sides. The advantages with the multi layer windings are any type of winding we can design like integral slot winding or fractional slot winding or different slot numbers also some new type of windings also possible with multi layer winding. Single layer windings we can see with respect to the 24 slots, 3 phase 4 pole machine, coil pitch is equals to 6 slots and total number of coils is equals to 24 by 2 and it is a single layer winding means into 1. So, 12 coils will come, the 12 coils are placed in 24 uh, slots, we can see here all 24 slots are filled with 24 coil sides. Full pitch winding means the coil side which is play, which is placed in the slot 1 is connected to the slot 7 that is 1 plus coil pitch 6 is equals to 7 and same way 2 plus 6 is equals to 8 or 2 minus 6. For symmetrical winding distribution some windings will uh, make it forward and some windings will connect in backward direction that we will discuss in detail in the coming lectures 2 minus 6 will give minus 4 plus 24 will give 20. So, second uh, slot the coil side is connected to the coil side placed in the slot number 20. With respect to the first coil side 1 and 7 are connected the coil sides placed in the slot 1 and slot 7 ok. Once we have done the coil we have to place this coil side in slot number 1 and this coil side in slot number 7, this side 1 and this is 7. And same way second coil we have to place in slot number 2 and slot number 20, third coil slot number 8 and slot number 14, we can see here third coil we are placing in slot 8 and slot 14, fourth coil slot number 13 and slot number 19, we have to place in this fashion. Next double layer windings, same example 24 slots, 3 phase, 4 pole winding, coil pitch is equals to 6 that is distance between 2 coil sides 
and total number of coils will come now 24 because of the double layer winding. So as per the coil pitch and it is a full pitch winding 1 plus 6 equals to 7 will come. So after making the coils with 6 coil pitch, one coil side we have to place in slot 1 top side we can see here this is the slot 1 and this is slot 7. First slot top side and seventh slot bottom side we have to place the first coil. Second coil same way second slot top side eighth slot bottom side we can see here the 1 and 7 dash. 1 and 7 dash and 2 and 8 dash. Already we have done the coil, we have to place at this location and at this location first coil, second coil will be at this place and at this place. So this coil side and this coil side, that is it we have to insert one by one. And same fashion we can place the all 8 coils with respect to the double layer winding. Next full pitch winding, short pitch winding and integral slot and fractional slot windings we can define with respect to the variable that is slots per pole per phase. If the slots per pole per phase Q value is equals to 1 or integer and coil pitch is equals to pole pitch then that type of winding is called integral slot full pitch winding. If Q equals to integer or equals to 1 and it is uh, the coil pitch is less than the pole pitch then that type of winding is called integral slot short pitch windings and if Q value is a fraction like 3 by 2, 5 by 2 like that and coil pitch is equals to pole pitch then that type of winding is called fractional slot full pitch winding and Q equals to fraction and coil pitch is less than pole pitch that type of winding is called fractional slot short pitch windings and the advantage with respect to the short pitch windings over the full pitch winding or saving of the copper due to the end ring connections and reduction of harmonics with respect to the EMF and MMF waveforms and advantages of fractional slot windings over the integral slot windings are flexibility to select any type of any type or any number of slots as well as coil span and reduction of harmonics in EMF as well as MMF waveforms. We can see here the 24 slot uh, stator core and how the coils are placed. First we will discuss with respect to the full pitch winding. Full pitch winding means directly 1 plus 6 is equals to 7 and 2 plus 6 or 2 minus 6 we can connect 1 to 7 and 2 to 20 these things are already discussed after making the coil one side we have to place in slot number 1, other side we have to place in slot number 7. Same way second coil, coil side we have to place in second slot and second coil side we have to place in 20th slot. And short pitch winding where the coil pitch is 5 slots only, it is a short pitch by 1 slot and coil pitch is equals to 6 minus 1 slots and where in short pitch windings the pole pitch is higher than the coil pitch. In, in full pitch winding the coils we are placing in slot number 1 and slot number 7 right. Now 1 plus 5 only we have to place, 1 plus 5 is coming 6 but already in 6th slot C phase conductors are placed some other conductors because with respect to one particular pole that is green color 1, phase spread should be 2 to slots right all 3 phases these two slots with respect to A phase, these two slots with respect to B phase and these two slots with respect to C phase. To make the short pitch winding 1 plus 5 is not possible, 1 minus 5 we will do that is minus 4 plus 24 will it will get give 20. So uh, we have to place the coil this one, one coil side in slot number 1, other coil side should be slot number 20. So conductors in slot number 1 and 20 are connected, 2 and 7 are connected, same fashion 8 and 13 and 14 and 19. Here we can see coil pitch is equals to 5 whereas in the other case coil pitch is equals to 6.
Now, integral slot winding is nothing but the slots per pole per phase will give a integer either 2 or 3 or any integer it will come. So, the coil pitch will be same whether it is full pitch winding or short pitch winding based upon that thing we have to make the coil pitch and we have to place the coil sides accordingly. Here for example, full pitch and double layer winding. So, the first coil let us say this is the first coil. So, we have to place this coil side in slot number 1 top side that is this one and next coil side we have to place in slot number 7 bottom side these two are connected. Same way 2 to 8 dash then 7 to 13 dash 8 to 14 dash like that it will go while discussing the integral slot winding uh, winding diagrams we will discuss in detail these things and fractional slot windings 18 slot 3 phase 4 pole machine and slots per pole per phase is coming here fraction and we can see the coil pitch 4.5 it is also a fraction number and 4 or 5 we can take it if you are taking 4 it is a short pitch winding if you are taking 5 it is a over pitch winding slightly and number of coils is equals to 18 by 2 into 2 uh, it is double layer winding otherwise this winding is not possible because the fraction it is coming right slots per pole per phase. We have to distribute each phase will be one hundred of slots in each and every pole. We can see under one pole four and half slots are coming right. So, one and half slot uh, related to the A phase remaining one and half slot related to the B phase and remaining one and half slot for C phase like that we have to uh, uh, split the portions with respect to the all three phases and we have to place the coils. The A phase coils we can see here with respect to the uh, red color representation 1 and 1 dash and second slot 2 like 3 coils are placed under one pole each and every pole 3 3 coils are there. So, the first coil side we will place in 1 and next coil side we will place at 5 dash 1 plus 4 is equals to 5 next 2 plus 4 is equals to 6 like this we will go if forward manner is not possible then we have to come back either 1 plus 4 or 1 minus 4 we can connect it. Then DC type of uh, windings in DC machine windings we will utilize the closer type of windings like lap winding and wave winding the only difference is how we are connecting the conductors with respect to the commutators and brush arrangement the number of coils equation and coils terminology with respect to coil pitch, pole pitch and other terminology is same as AC machines. The only few terms are different those terms we will discuss in the coming slides and the number of commutators depends upon the number of coils and here also short pitch winding, full pitch winding and over pitch windings we can see if the coil pitch is equals to 180 degrees or less than 180 degrees are greater than 180 degrees based on that we can classify these three type of windings and right side we can see the two coil sides one coil side placed with respect to the one pole and other coil side is placed with respect to the other pole and those two are connected to commutator uh, rings we can see here the two commutator rings. these are the two commutator rings and bottom side four coils and four commutator segments are shown with respect to four pole winding of DC machines. And the pitch terms in DC machines let us consider the few coils like coil 1 is placed in slot number 1 and slot number 4 and coil 2 is placed in slot number 2 uh, top side and slot number 5 bottom side and coil 3 is placed slot number 3 top side that is this one and slot number 6 bottom side 6 dash ok. Now, the back pitch is nothing but the distance between two active sides of same coil under the adjacent opposite poles. We can see this is the starting point and this is the ending point of the first coil. So, with respect to the slot 1 and slot for bottom side we have connected the first coil that is red color one with respect to the red color one here this point 
and this point the pitch is nothing but back pitch from from this point to this point is nothing but back pitch next the distance between two coil sides connected to the same commutator segments are starting of one second coil to ending of first coil we can see the second coil starting here second coil starting the laser pointer and first coil ending are connected to the second commutator segment this is the second commutator segment those two windings are connected that pitch is nothing but front pitch the resultant pitch is nothing but the distance between starting ends of two consecutive coils the starting end of first coil is 1 and starting end of second coil is 2 the distance between coil 1 and coil 2 is nothing but resultant pitch we can see here the pink color arrow that is coil 1 with respect to slot 1 top side and slot 2 top side okay this is the pink color representation is y resultant pitch then the commutator pitch is nothing but it is the bit, uh, distance between the commutator segments where the two ends of the coils are connected for example coil 1 is connected to two commutators let us say c1 and c2 the starting end of the coil is 1 and ending point of the coil 1 is 4 dash these two coils are connect uh, coil sides are connected to commutator 1 and commutator 2 we can see here so the distance between these two commutators is nothing but commutator pitch i am showing with uh, arrow here cursor so to design the lap winding and wave winding we have to follow certain guidelines so the lap winding is nothing but it is a success, uh, successive coils overlap each other and front pitch and back pitches values like yb and yf should be odd numbers and must be deferred by multiples of 2 that means yb minus yf is equals to some 2 or 4 or multiples of 2 should be there and difference of front pitch and back pitch will give the resultant pitch and number of poles is equals to number of parallel paths is equals to number of brushes in lap winding and in lap winding the two ends of the coils are connected to the adjacent commutator segments and if the back pitch is greater than front pitch then that type of winding is progressive winding also with respect to the commutator pitch equation if plus sign with respect to the m uh, parameter it is progressive winding plus minus sign with respect to the uh, m in commutator pitch equation that is the retrogressive winding where m is nothing but integer to design the multiplex winding like simplex duplex or triplex windings and in lap winding we will also call it as a parallel connected windings with respect to the commutator connections and it is generally used for high currents and low voltage applications and we can see here few uh, equations related to the lap winding like the number of coils back pitch front pitch and resultant pitch in terms of total number of coils and number of poles and k is nothing but integer to make the back pitch as well as front pitch as a odd number and mc represents what type of winding we are developing either it is simplex lap winding or duplex lap winding like that and commutator pitch and resultant pitch also we can calculate in terms of m and in terms of front pitch and back pitches and we can see the front pitch and back pitch and commutator pitch in this image so by following this equations as well as these guidelines of lap winding we can develop the different winding structures for dc machines if the single line or developed diagram with respect to the horizontal manner we can see here the front pitch is nothing but starting end of first coil sorry back pitch is nothing but starting end of first coil to ending 
point of the first coil is nothing but back pitch it is uh, shown a blue color and front pitch is nothing but starting end of second coil to ending end of first coil or the coils which are connected to the same commutator segment that is 2 is nothing but front pitch and back uh, resultant pitch is nothing but distance between 2 coil sides and commutator pitch is nothing but distance between 2 commutators to those 2 commutator segments the starting as well as ending of the same coil has to be connected. This is progressive winding where the first coil is here and second coil and third coil in forward manner we are connecting the winding. In the retrogressive winding first coil will be here the starting end of second coil will be come, uh, coming here. So, it will go in this fashion this is the starting end of second coil we can follow from here if we will take this coil as first one then it is coming back in this fashion and it will reach this one it is going in this direction the starting terminal of first coil, second coil, third coil. In retrogressive winding starting end of first coil then second coil then third coil in this manner it is going. Whereas, in progressive winding 1, 2, 3 like this the starting ends of coils are uh, moving or we are making the winding in that fashion. Similarly, for designing the wave winding certain guidelines we have to follow the wave winding is the only in wave winding only 2 parallel paths are provided between the positive and negative brushes and total number of coils will be same and the finishing end of first coil under one pole pair is connected to the starting end of the coil under next pole pair. The front pitch and back pitches should be odd numbers and it should be the deferred by 2 or equal in some cases. The addition of front pitch and back pitch will give the resultant pitch here and the number of brushes and current collecting paths are always equals to 2 for any number of poles. Here also progressive winding retrogressive winding depends upon the sign with respect to the winding design factor that is M whether it is we are designing the simplex winding or duplex winding based on that thing and this type of windings we will utilize it for low current and high voltage applications. Same way here also few equations to design the wave winding back pitch, front pitch and resultant pitch, commutator pitch and number of coils by utilizing these equations we can develop the wave winding thing. So, here C total is nothing but total number of coils and QS is nothing but stator number of slots and C uh, P is nothing but number of poles, YB is back pitch, YF is front pitch and Y is nothing but resultant pitch and the equation for resultant pitch is not equals to 2 into total number of coils plus or minus 2 into MC, MC is nothing but integer to design the multiplex winding divided by pole pairs and the commutator pitch is nothing but half of the resultant pitch this equation will come. So, same way with respect to the wave winding we can see the front pitch and back pitches. So, the back pitch from this point to this point. So, we can see from this point to this point is uh, back pitch and from this point to this point is the front pitch addition of front pitch as well as back pitch will give the resultant pitch that is shown in pink color line here. And commutator pitch is nothing but YC the com distance between the commutators where the starting and ending of the same coils are connected. We can see in this image the resultant pitch is the pink one that is distance between this point to this point the starting ends of the 2 coils and from back pitch is nothing but blue color one that is starting and ending of the same coil and result uh, front pitch is nothing but ending of first coil to starting of second coil. If we will see the progressive and retrogressive winding after completion of one wave winding in this fashion the next end of this thing will come here if we will consider this is first coil set the second coil set will come here in the progressive winding first coil set second coil set like that fashion. So, we can see here the first coil starting point will be this one first coil set and the next coil set will come at this particular point ending we can see here the green color one that is this one 
So, that same ending is coming at this particular point and it is starting. So, this is first coil set, second coil set, it is in this direction. In the retrogressive winding, the coil sets are connected in a backward direction. So, the first coil is coming here at this particular place and the second coil with respect to the ending of first coil is shown here in a green color fashion, this is this one. So, the second coil starting will be this thing, in a backward direction it will go for retrogressive winding same as the retrogressive lap winding here also the connections with respect to the coil sets will go backward manner. In progressive connections with respect to the coils will come in a forward manner. Now, we will discuss the generalized procedure to design the any type of winding for any type of machine. First we have to analyze the data with respect to the number of uh, slots, number of poles and number of phases and speed, voltage and power rating and power factor etcetera. Next define the type of winding like concentrated windings or distributed windings either it is short pitch or full pitch or lap winding or wave winding that thing we have to define and which type of winding we are uh, designing based on that slots per pole per phase we have to calculate. Once the slots per pole per phase is calculated, next we have to calculate the number of tons per phase by utilizing the Faraday's law of voltage equation for a given voltage power, power factor and flux density and winding factors terms and etcetera. So, substituting all these numbers and we have to calculate the number of tons. Next copper wire gauge selection with respect to the given current rating and given power rating. What is the I phase RMS? Based upon the I phase RMS value we can calculate the cross sectional area of the conductor. Once we know the cross sectional area of the conductor we can select the appropriate gauge SWG value. Then make the number of coils let us say 24 slot machine is there and total 12 coils are there. So, first make all 12 coils with respect to the coil pitch and pole pitch as per the winding diagram. Make the uh, coils all 12 coils we have to make then we can place one by one and window area check we have to verify let us say in each slot we have to keep 100 number of tons. So, that 100 tons whether we are able to uh, place inside the slot or not with respect to the slot area we have to calculate. Always the slot area into window factor should be greater than the number of tons per slot. It is number of tons per slot into area of cross section of each conductor because the slot area is a combination of conductors area as well as liners along the uh, slot and separators we can see along the slot some insulating paper will be there and there is a separator and closers and wooden piece for the closing the slot all those things will have to be considered for calculating the slot area because of that reason we can consider here window factor to accommodate the n number of conductors per slot and placing the conductors as per, uh, as per the symmetrical winding distribution and stubbing method with arrow check representation to make the connections with respect to all phase windings and verification of magnetic poles formation with the with respect to the right hand thumb rule principles and winding check like after placing all coils and after arranging all connections whether is there any short circuit with the winding to body or winding to winding or winding to neutral we have to verify if there is no short circuit then we can take the six terminals out and we can complete the windings. Y6 terminals means to make the star or delta connection for DC machines only two terminals will come out and testing the machine with respect to the required operating conditions. This is the winding procedure to design the winding for any type of machine with this I am concluding this lecture. In this lecture we have discussed the 
basics related to the electrical machine windings like coil, coil pitch, coil span and different type of windings. Thank you.